Uh, what do you think of the numbers we just saw? 6.6 uh, million new additional jobless claims after the 3.3 we saw last week. That's an incredible well, number. Well, you know, Becky, quickly. my first reaction was back in, back in early 2009 uh, when we were seeing 600,000 uh, increase in unemployment. Now, we're talking jobless claims here rather than unemployment. But when you see numbers that are uh, of that order of magnitude, um, it becomes clear just how steep a decline we are uh, suffering right now. And there's really no precedent for thinking about this. A number of your commentators and guests have said that over the past few minutes. And I think that what it really does is to reinforce the sense of a lot of people that the prospect of a V-shaped um, um, motion here with going down rapidly and then coming up rapidly uh, may unfortunately not turn out to be what we see and instead will will face a much tougher road back. Why do you think that is? How, how do you start to think through the damage that we're seeing at this point? Well, obviously, obviously nobody knows, and, and the uncertainty is something that everybody in markets and government is, uh, uh, is emphasizing. But first, as I said a moment ago, there really is no precedent for essentially shutting down sectors of the economy uh, with the attendant damage that uh, may be harder to undo. It's, it's not like laying off uh, a quarter of your workforce because revenue has dropped by a quarter. This is, this is going to zero revenue. Uh, second, I think uh, there's the possibility, if not the probability, that we're going to have recurring preventive measures, such as some form of social distancing, which will mean hitting the brakes, um, maybe not, certainly not, we hope, the way it's being done nationwide right now, but hitting the brakes in certain areas, certain regions, certain sectors, perhaps for some time to come. Uh, third, the monetary and fiscal policy instruments that are available to us are are going to be stretched. They are already being stretched to the limit, and thus they may be um, less successful, not unsuccessful, but less successful in effecting a, a quick bounce back. And finally, there's the question as to whether some of the longer-term trends in the economy, such as declining productivity, um, will be accelerated by this kind of shock. Uh, you recall after the great financial crisis when People kept referring to headwinds uh, that were stopping the economy from getting back to pre-crisis trend growth. Uh, and after a while, people realized maybe they weren't just headwinds that were going to abate, but that it was a, uh, an indefinite uh, uh, decrease in growth potential. And there may be something like that here as well. So, again, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue strongly that the that the uh, likely outcome is going to be a long, slow, painful recovery. But I think it's just as much a chance as something resembling a V-shaped recovery. 